Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and I'm here in Southwest Virginia. It's early December, and I'm at Joe's Tree Farm in Newport, Virginia, to bring you an answer to the question, what's better, an artificial tree or a real tree? What's better ecologically, climate-wise, What's the best thing for the environment? Which way should go? A lot of people that care about the environment aren't sure what's the best way to go with this. So in today's episode, I'm gonna to try to come up with an answer for you. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So artificial trees seem to be at first a better economic decision in terms of getting ready for Christmas. Because an artificial tree, you can make a one-time expenditure and keep that tree for a, a good amount of time. However, artificial trees come with a load of environmental impacts. Artificial trees are made up of vinyl and PVC and plastics and which during their production can give off many noxious gases. And even after they're produced, they can still emit noxious gases that can affect both your indoor climate and the outdoor climate. Artificial trees really can't be recycled. So being made of metal and plastics, they're gonna end up in landfills. And in landfills, plastics can take over a thousand years to break down. Many of the artificial trees that you can find on store shelves here are made in China. So think of the amount of transportation required to produce them in a factory in China and ship them here. It's estimated that up to 88 pounds of carbon dioxide is released per tree in that process of manufacture and shipping. The amount of carbon dioxide released to get that tree to your house and manufactured can be 10 times that of a sustainably managed and grown real tree. It's been estimated for that artificial tree to be environmentally sustainable, you have to keep it for at least 10, maybe even 15 and up to 20 years, depending on how it's manufactured and shipped. It's been estimated that the average life in an artificial tree is actually six years before parts of it break it's thrown out or it gets covered with unsightly dust. Like Joe's Christmas tree farm here, most Christmas tree farms are managed on a very sustainable basis. It can take up to seven to 10 years for a Christmas tree to mature before it's ready for the mark. So that's seven to 10 years of producing oxygen and taking in carbon dioxide. To produce a real live cut tree, it's estimated that it uses 10 times less resources than it does to produce an artificial tree. Every time a tree is harvested, a farmer plants one to three more trees to replace it. Of estimated 350 to 500 million trees on tree farms today, only 30 million of those are harvested annually. So the net carbon dioxide absorption and oxygen release really far outweighs the trees that are being cut. Tree farms have an extra benefit to wildlife and many birds and animals will use tree farms as a place to live and nest and reproduce. Christmas tree farms are often on steep hills where conventional farming just wouldn't work or the amount of erosion would make it impractical. Buying sustainable forest products supports communities and businesses that are green and sustainable as well. Whether buying a real Christmas tree, in fact, is a sustainable, good environmental choice in terms of cl climate change and pollution and resources, also depends on what happens to that tree afterwards. Many states have pickup and reclamation projects where trees are picked up and used for a variety of positive environmental things. Sometimes they're used for fish habitats, they're used to stop beach erosion, they're used to produce mulch, and may be used to create animal habitat. New York City has a major project called Mulch Fest, where they collect the trees, 
grind them up and produce mulch that is then distributed in city parks to enrich soils. The environmental sustainability of your Christmas tree really depends on how it will be used afterwards. If it ends up in a landfill and helps and reacts with other things to produce more methane gas in the function of that landfill, then maybe it's not such a good thing. So it appears that the best ecological alternative to buying either artificial tree or a real tree is to buy the real tree. As long as it comes from sustainable forestry, it's not cut from national forest, it's from a produced farm, that's your best alternative. That's the safest thing you can do to protect the climate. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. I think I'll need to go out here and pick out a Christmas tree. Remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and I cover all things nature, from trees to wildflowers, amphibians to reptiles, insects, and fungi, I cover it all. Please check out my playlist for things that you might be interested in seeing. But thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at